Yo, what is up guys, Blade here, and this is officially the first video of 2015. I know I said I'll be more persistent with my uploads this year, but I truly have been quite busy these past few weeks, and I'm also in the process of building my new gaming PC, so that's been keeping me busy as well. If you guys uh, want to check out the specs for it, I'll leave it down below if you're interested in that. And also let me know if you guys want a speed build of it. And uh, also we just hit 8,000 subscribers on this channel. We're very close to 10,000, which is just mind-blowing, and uh, I'm planning a special 10k video, so you guys stay tuned for that but anywho in this video we're going to be learning how to install the x-ray mod as suggested by aru gaming aqua red and michael cantino if you have any suggestions for a new tutorial leave it in the comments below and your comment might get featured on my next video i know i promised a lot of you guys on a custom youtube thumbnail tutorial but that video is still in the works but uh, hopefully it should be my next upload but anyways uh, i'll show you guys how to install this mod which is sh uh, which should be very easy to do and also go over the mod and how to use it later on in the video so first you want to make sure that you have the latest java installed onto your computer along with the java se development kit which is something you must have in order to uh, open the mod installer in this video. So uh, this is the site for the latest Java update. Go ahead and go there to update your Java. It should be a fairly easy installation. And now you're going to need the development kit, which is found on this site here. The links will be down below in the description for your convenience. Uh, once you're here, check accept license agreement and click either Windows x86 if you have a 32-bit computer or x64 if you have a 64-bit computer. To find out what system you have, go into any kind of folder, click on the sidebar, and click System Properties, and it should say it there. Go ahead and install it, I won't be installing it since I already have it. Once all the Java stuff is done with, you can now download the mod installer. Navigate to this site here, and choose the version of Minecraft you're going to be running with this mod. Let's go with 1.8.1 since it is the latest. Now uh, it will take you uh, to an app fly site when, uh, once you click on it. Just simply wait 5 seconds and... Uh, there we go, and you just want to click continue, and your download should start, so go ahead and save it anywhere you want. Um, now, if you're having problems with AdFly, simply go up to the URL address here, highlight and copy from where it says Minecraft to all the way to the end, and open a new tab, and paste the new URL, and it should start downloading. Once you have downloaded it, it should be a jar file. You can simply download, uh, double click on it to open it. And or if that's giving you problems, you can right click, open with Java TM SE platform. You must again have correctly installed the Java development kit to open this. Once it's opened, uh, don't mess with anything. Just click install, overwrite. Now open your Minecraft client, go to new profile, name this profile X-Ray 1.8.1 or whatever version you got and go to the versions release here and be sure to select the one with the X-Ray release. Hit save profile and hit play. I'll meet you guys back in the game so I can quickly go over the mod and what it has to offer. Alright, let's launch to our single player world here, and now you can already see that there's a handy dandy coordinate tick that the mod supplies me with, so that's helpful. And if you press F3, you can see that you install this mod correctly by looking here. So with this mod, if you didn't know, you can look at how the train looks under the world, allowing you to easily spot valuable ores such as coal, diamond, gold, redstones, or whatever it may be. To launch x-ray mode, simply hit the x button on your keyboard and there you go. You can turn it off by tapping x again. And that's about it, it's very helpful and it works in multiplayer, however I do not condone using it in multiplayer as it will get you banned from their servers. Now if this video helped out, be sure to hit the like button below, subscribe if you're new, and check out the mod playlist for other mod tutorials like this one. Peace! Yo guys, what is up, it's me again and uh, in the bathroom this time and I just want to show you guys the... Uh, hoodie that I bought from my merch store and it looks like this It's the XC design right there, and I just want to tell you guys that I do have my own store and uh, I have uh, quite a few things on there like shirts and Cases and stuff like that if you want to purchase them you can uh, the annotation link to my store has always been in the outro as well as in the description down below so um, Yeah, so just let me know uh, uh, new designs you guys want to see on the store because I'm kind of running out of designs uh, There's a back to this by the way right there and uh, Yeah, so just uh, let me know. I just want to tell you guys I do have a store and That's about it guys. Peace <laughs>